Hey, it's Medicosis Perfectionalis again, and today's topic is acne, also known as acne vulgaris. So, there are two types of acne, comedonal or non-inflammatory and inflammatory. So, comedonal, uh, what's the problem here? The problem here is that there is a clog in the hair follicle or the pore by dead skin, debris, or by oil. And these led to the um, appearance of pimples or comedones. These pimples, and they are two types, open, and they are called blackhead, or closed, which are called whitehead. Closed with what? Closed with skin debris. Okay. Acne occurs more in puberty because there is increase in the secretion of oil and sebaceous gland activity increases during this age. Um, so, what's the problem in inflammatory acne? That's different. Inflammatory acne, there is a reaction to several factors, such as a bug named... Probiana bacterium acne. It's a bacteria. Probiana bacterium acne. Within the follicle, so there is a reaction to this bacteria within the follicle. And this will lead to ruptured follicular epithelium. It will rupture like this. Leaking of sebum. The sebum will leak to the surface and the immunological response to this factor. So the inflammatory is immunological in nature. It's a reaction to this bug, which is anaerobic gram-positive bacteria. Okay, so for comedonal acne, there there are closed white heads and open black heads. There are papules, sometimes the papules which are elevated. There are pustules when they secrete pus. And sometimes there are cystic lesions which are fluid filled cavities. Comedonal acnes occur in adolescence. And the problem, as we said, is clogging in this follicle. Okay, inflammatory acne is immunological reaction to the bacterium probiana bacterium acne. There are risk factors, so the problem is genetic, and there are triggers or risk factors such as smoking, hormonal factor, um, increased estrogen or imbalance between estrogen and androgen, and also um, lifestyle stress and so forth. However, it's not necessarily due to increased androgen, but rather increased response to androgen. So, androgen itself may not be increased, however, the response from the follicles to the increased androgen is the problem, with the exception of polycystic ovarian syndrome, where there is actually increased androgen. And by the way, one-third of women with acne have PCOS. There are other factors that can exacerbate acne, such as cosmetics, oil, mechanical trauma, such as scrubbing, clothing, humidity, heavy sweating, and so forth. There are certain differences between acne vulgaris and acne rosacea and this is a video that will be linked in the description or you can click here okay now let's go to the treatment but first you have to know that there is a specific type of inflammatory acne known as nodulocystic acne this is the most severe form of acne characterized by nodules 
and cyst nodules are hard. So how to treat comedonal acne? Topical retinoids. So comedonal we use topical such as tretinoin, tazerotene and adapalene. Both of them should be used at night and why is that? Because they are deactivated by sunlight except for adapalene. Make sure do not use retinoid in pregnancy, even the topical ones. Wow, even the topical? Yes, topical retinoids should never be used in pregnancy. They are teratogenic. Sometimes they cause abortion. What else? You can use topical salicylic acid or azelaic acid. So that's the treatment of comedonal acne. It's topical. What about the inflammatory? So, it depends. It may be mild, it may be moderate to severe. So, if it's mild, we use topical agents. Again, benzoyl peroxide, topical erythromycin. It's a combination. We use them together. This combination decreases the resistance of probianobacterium acne. We can add topical retinoids as an adjuvant therapy or you can use topical dapsone. Yes. On the other hand, moderate to severe acne, we use oral agents. So, we start with oral tetracycline plus the previous topical therapy. So, oral tetracycline such as oral doxycycline or tetracycline or minocycline but beware that there is resistance to the probianobacterium acne like the bug is resistance to erythromycin so if it's resistance in these cases only we will use trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole tmp smx okay what if there is nodulocystic, the severest type of acne? We use oral isotretinoids, the oral form of retinoids known as isotretinoin, and we use it alone without any topical or without any other drug. Beware, do not use it in pregnancy. Why? It's teratogenic. And do not use it with tetracycline why there is an increased risk of pseudotumor cerebri. Pseudotumor cerebri. Do not combine the oral retinoids with the tetracyclines. This is very high yield. So that's acne in brief. Try to watch this video more than one time and focus on the treatment. Take care, study hard, see you next video. Please subscribe.